Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Thronefall. Today, we're doing some quests on Totend. So there are a couple quests, or there's a bunch of quests that we could do, but they, I think, are kind of like opposite quests a little bit. I'm going to just try to do the C quest right now. And the C quest is the Pacifist Pact and the God of Choice. So, the Pacifist Pact makes it where you are personally useless. So, I think we're going to do a unit-orientated build with the Pacifist Pact in mind. Right. So, I'm going to get some potion vials. And I think I should get expensive units. I don't know if I necessarily want to go like a full unit build. Oh my god, your archers have 60% more range. That's crazy. Well, if I wanted to go for like a hybrid tower build, I guess I would just go for like range damage. Elite warriors, just so my units are tanky. Commander mode, because of course... I have pacifist anyways. Maybe arcane towers. So my yeah, like arcane tower, power tower. Arcane towers gives the towers much more range and damage. I think this will be good. I'm gonna pick potion vials as my heal or as my weapon because uh, the weapon doesn't really matter. There's 20 slugs coming. Genuinely, we can just economy up 100%. Not even slightly concerned. In fact, uh... I'll spawn some ghosts. And is there any ogres? There is ogres. Let's go. I'm super duper confident because I can just put a single tower down. And that will deal with the majority of them. And I guess I'll get some... Oh, why not Berserks? And that will help slow the enemies down even more. With the rest of the money, I'll just go and economy up in the left-hand side. Get a mill going. Get a little bit of Wind Spiriticity. Uh, Royal Forge, do not care. Is there a forge up here that I could grab? Blacksmith, let's go. And get ranged attack or ranged armor. Offense is better than defense, so I will go for offense. And we can send it. So the tower will be my weapon, basically. I won't have a weapon, the tower is the weapon. And that is perfectly fine. Because <laughs> look at how much damage it does. I'm going to slow the ogres down using my ultimate. That will help out slightly. Uh, do I have elite warriors? No. Or yes, but I don't have the training one. That's going to be kind of gnarly. Whatever, we'll make it work. Surely. Surely we can make it work. My units respawn plenty fast already. I think having 50% more health for him just makes more sense. Alright, well that's them dealt with. We can now focus on top left lane. I have a mill there, so my shrine will kind of be useless. I'll put a tower down. Put my units down there. Honestly, I should just get another set of units. I'll get some knights. And I could put a bunch of mills and stuff in the right hand lane. Because I have the utmost confidence, as I've said before. Can I put a mine down? If I can put a mine down, I'm definitely putting that. No. Well, I'm still gonna do this. Uh, improved plow or explosive traps. So get improved plow, get more economy. And 
I'll put a house down, I guess, somewhere. Boom. I could have put the shrine down. I don't think it's going to be relevant right now. And we can send it. I think it just makes more sense to super hone in on the economy and we can get the shrine like on the last wave or something. Pretty sure the shrines will power them, each other up anyways, right? Like even on the last wave. We got a humongous wave down there. I'll just get a healer. And a little bit of a range superiority. I prefer hunters over crossbowmen. I prefer fire archers over crossbowmen. There's roly polies. I can just put a wall down. And then they're dealt with pretty much. What should I do with the rest of my money? I guess houses. Best in that real estate. Maybe I should put down a mine. But that is whatever. Actually, I don't think there's any mines I could build yet. Uh, my forces need to at least try to get this field going. Wait, can I benefit from the Berserker jump over and over? Yeah, it looks like I can. I we'll legitimately even need to fucking hold position, bros. This shrine super duper needs to be activated. Even if it means losing like a field or something. Because it will help, uh, you know, prevent the loss of feature fields. Alright, we're almost there. Boom. Shrine built. Glorious. Now it doesn't matter as much. I do need my healer to heal. Looks like it's kind of slacking on the job there. There we go. That's the wave done. Or wave on lockdown, I think. Yep, simple as. Alright, the next wave is a front-facing wave. We can invest super hardcore in the economy. I'm gonna get a level up. I guess I'll just get magic armor, so I'm tankier. We're gonna need those researches going as soon as possible. It's just not quite enough time, in my opinion. Uh, is there another research? Not yet. I'll get this economy going. Could try to get the shrines active here. Theoretically speaking, I could spawn some super ghosts or super spiders. I don't think we're kind of ready for that yet. Though, unfortunately, I'm just going to invest. Invest, invest, invest. Maybe mine would have been better. This is what it is. My units will be up here because the spiders are going to be coming up for the mine anyways. So it just makes sense. This little shrine down here will be activated pretty much instantaneously. So, that'll be cool. It'll provide range support. For my lads. Which they desperately need. Definitely think we could maybe be economy even harder. Little concern, we're not going to hit our benchmarks at this rate. Which I know it seems silly because I'm pretty much just exclusively building economy, but even still. Build the mine. I guess I can level up every single house and build every single house. And that might be enough. I kind of want to level up my forts to level 3. Now I'll get castle up. Because I need... There's like another research building. Down in the south. Which needs to get cooking like right off the bat. 
And uh, I guess um, we could super duper focus on the range attack. That would benefit my towers. Whereas melee only benefits my tanks, basically. And I'll get a tower level up. Ew. Those are two not very good upgrades. I guess the sniper, and then I can put a house down somewhere. Here we go. So, with the power tower, I'm slightly less concerned. Though I do think, uh... It's kind of a spicy wave. I need to start tanking the... Mothras. Else I'm gonna be in for a bad time. Luckily the moths seem to just focus the hero. They're very easy to dodge. Which is great, because they do a bunch of damage, so they just destroy my melee guys. To a great degree. They lost one field, but no other economy is lost. It's pretty, pretty good. Alright, there we go. What wave was that? Six? We'll be able to get on the research, I think. Probably, hopefully. Just barely, actually, I think. Which is not great. We can start to get a little bit more units once I finish the economy. Which I think is actually done. Oh, no, wait. We've got building here. I mean, I can get the... I'm going to get the Hero Forge research going as well. There's not really any reason not to. So I'm sure I'll be able to afford most of the stuff that I need. For the most part. Oh, you know what? I can build up this mill. As well, theoretically. 100 slugmas is kind of a lot. But we'll just make it work. Alright, healer, you need to actually heal my melee dudes. All shit's gonna get fucky. The Berserker jump gives them, like, a little, like, a brief period of invincibility, as far as I know. So that can help slightly counter the slug ones. Which is pretty cool. And my units respawning will help also counter them. Dude, it took forever for them to respawn. That's really not great. Well, whatever. Sure, we'll be fine. Yep. Alright, we can focus on the front wave now. And it's a huge one. What can this tower be? It can be a sniper or a castle. Honestly, that's a pretty rough decision. Because this tower's kind of going to be in the firing line. I think a sniper tower is fine. And then I'll get archer spike. Sort of split the difference. I'm going to assume that this tower is going to be identical. So I'll build it identically. I will build a second support mage and a lizard rider. And I guess a tower up here. This one can be armored or bunker. I'll go with armored and fire or healing. Hmm. Honestly, that's slightly tough. I feel like healing would be better, maybe. Build a wall here, just in case these, and we might as well just go extraordinarily buck wild with it. Surely this can't go wrong. Surely copium. I mean, we've got we got walls. We got support. Range superiority. So I'm slightly... No, I'm extremely concerned, but I'm not, like... Super duper duper concerned. I mean, I'm a little concerned about my archers trolling me here. 
Oh god, I just took a couple strays from the fucking spiders and suddenly perished. Kinda rude, my archers just perish like that. Oh well, is what it is. My ironclad tower got completely screwed. No biggie. Actually, honestly, that's probably for the best. It's the tankiest tower. Okay, we suffered no big economy loss, and we got a bunch of coins. It's about as good as it gets. We're fighting a kind of gnarly wave, a major air wave. Are these towers going to be identical as well? No, these are armored or bunkered. Yuck. Uh, honestly, a healing spike there to help with the anti-air. You know, help my archers cope. It's pretty good. Is this going to be identical? Alright, well, I'll accept that. We got 40 roly polies. Might as well just uh, deal with them as best as possible. I think my economy buildings are going to be fine. I need to upgrade super duper badly. Let's get another range attack. Level up my fire archers, because I think I'll be able to afford the other research just fine. Get even more ranged attack. Might as well get a ballistic spike here, maybe. Maybe a healing spike would be better. Because this tower is kind of up in the front. Yeah, I'll do that. It's not super ideal. Two's fine. So as for unit composition, I'm gonna have my range units just chill down here. And deal with the enemy air units as they come in. My melee units will be... Oh wow, I don't have that many of them. Well, they're gonna be semi-evenly split how many do I have of each? Ugh. Alright, well, it'll be four in each lane, I guess. And they're just gonna sit there, face tank, couple explosions, and then perish. Which is what it is. I think my heroes are just gonna be in the center. I'm a little bit concerned about the Rolly Boys on the right hand side, because there's no units dealing with them, but maybe I can put my archers over here, over here. That way they'll be able to cover both those lanes. I'll get the sniper tower cooking. So it will help out with the air, I think. To a good degree. I think these archers need to fucking move over here. Help out. And the Roly Polies. As my other archers are as well. I'll use my ultimate to slow these Roly Polies down to a great degree. And that's that way I've dealt with easily. Simple as... We got ourselves a top left type of wave this time. Completely acceptable. I definitely need to just build a bajillion melee units to help deal. I have a ton of income, so I can afford such an expenditure. Let's see, I might as well make myself tank here as well. I could get the hero forge leveling up as well. Oh, and leveling up my heroes themselves, I think would be good. There we go. So I have more melee units. I'll just reposition them here. That should be fine. My healer plus the healing tower. 
should be a pretty potent combo. Even with the Slugmas kind of chunking everyone. And anyone my towers don't get can just respawn. So far, so good. We've achieved perfect equilibrium. Losing units here and there, but their spawn rate is reducing. And the units that are main are getting fully healed. Vodokul. Cool. Does range damage uh, increase healing? I think it would, right? So that's kind of a synergy I didn't even think about. We got the huge wave on the right. All our units are maxed out. As the research not maxed out yet. Very cool. Can upgrade my heroes. Um, I guess I'll just get a temple upgrade. Not that I need it, but so that when I do need one, I can get like a more potent upgrade. Oh, this healer can upgrade as well. We have 55 coins remaining. So I guess we just invest in towers and other defenses, right? Improve the walls. Just make us, make ourselves more stable and powerful in the back. We got sniper tower, that's cool. Ballistic spike, that's okay. I'll just hold on the rest of my gold. Don't particularly need to spend it right now. And we can send it. Spiky balls are kind of a little bit of a bummer. Hopefully my dudes can respawn quickly enough. Looks like they're doing semi-fine though. Oh yeah, they're doing completely fine actually. But the towers are just getting absolutely eviscerated. Very nice. Blimps might get a couple of my fields, depending on what their targeting priority is. No, looks like we're fine. So now we got the frontal wave. We'll just build up the walls and some towers. I'll get some armor towerage. I guess some oil spikes. Again, not for this wave, but for a future wave. Let's see how many knights. There's plenty. Honestly, I could get a 150% activation range, right? I could maybe try to activate the shrine back here. Why not, right? So, sniper tower, ballistic spike, cool. Armored tower. Healing spike, cool. Yeah, let's try. So my archers will be back here. My melee guys will just be up here. So I'll put them like all the way back in the mine. They'll come out and defend. Lizard rider, you need to hold position. What's the activation range on this guy? Oh, okay, pretty big. Pretty nice, I would say. Oh, wow, it's helping from all the way back downtown. It's pretty good. Well, I no longer need to hold position my dudes. They can just come up and help. I hope I didn't forget an upgrade. <laughs> Oh! Alright, well that upgrade building's maxed out. I can get myself tankier. And this Royal Forge I can continue to use. Get even more range damage. This is kind of a gnarly wave, I will say. 25 of the super wheels is kind of kind of something. So I'll get a heal tower here. Oh, out of cash. Great. Cash well spent, probably. 
Hopefully our research buildings don't get destroyed. I don't think they will, and even if they do, I don't know if it will uh, be enough to uh, stop the uh, research before the last wave. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have to experiment with that. Oh, she's looking a little fucky. Oh, never mind, we're fine. Great. We got dudes in the bottom right. Can continue to build towers. Sniper tower here, sure. Castle tower here, also sure. I think we're going to have maybe all the towers built maxed out. Should be pretty epic, if true. What type of towers can these be? Castle? That's fine. I mean, it's a really good type of tower. Is that everything on the map? No, there's three. There's plenty more to build, thankfully. Uh, I'll get a bunker tower here, I think. And I guess oil. Cause, uh, it can hit the wall there, which is good. Alright, very great. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the slugmas don't kill my dudes too quick. I think it'll be fine. And that's another wave destroyed. We've got the big split wave. No biggie. I shall... Oh, this one can be a castle tower. Great. I'll simply prepare as I always do. Uh, yeah, this will be a bunker tower as well. A little hot oil of city. Okay, there's another tower up there I can build. That's pretty nice. Get that castle tower of city. Get a ballistic spike on that one, because I don't think it's going to be taking that much damage. So, wave-wise, the research here absolutely needs to be preserved to a humongous degree. To the point where I'm willing to dedicate half of my forces to this task alone. And uh, one of my healers as well. The rest matters a lot less. Economy doesn't really matter as much right now because I've got literally everything. So I kind of think I can sort of defend back here a bit. Ignore my right hand side for the most part and let the towers deal with it, I guess. My archers can just chill up top, kill the blimps. We desperately need killing. I think that is all I need for the wave. I mean, to be honest, I think all my heroes should be in the bottom left. It's genuinely, like, super duper 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 important that this research does not get interrupted. Like, all my economy can fucking burn. For all I care. Need to make sure these big spires don't fuck up my shit. Okay, I need to go contribute with the power tower. The bottom left, or that wave looks fine. Very cool. Now I need to contribute over here. What the fuck are those blimps doing? They better not destroy my friggin' forge. Give me some bullshit. Okay, very cool. Wave saved. Defended against. It's just some straggler spawns. Get with the program, bros. Thank y'all.
Well, I believe I've built literally everything. And I still have coins to spare. All the research has been researched. So this wave is kind of a doozy. We're basically just going to need to plant dudes in each of the quadrants. And then I'm going to have my archers follow me around. Simply put, the archer's DPS will matter greatly for the boss. And the melee forces, hopefully by themselves will be enough to slow down these enemies just long enough for my uh, reinforcements to come. That's the start and stop of it. It's a little bit sketch. I think my guys will be mostly fine though. They are getting kind of super effed up via the stuff. Or whatever. I'll just supercharge the sniper tower. This guy is just instantaneously completely screwed. I can pull my archers over here. I forgot the temple. That's awesome. Big brain plays on my part. But whatever. Just use this ballista tower to go fucking buck wild on this guy. We're not gonna even need the shrines, so let's be real here. I'll just sit and let my ballista tower do its work. Alright. Break time's over. Let's fucking go. Alright, sniper tower. Get to work. Honestly, I'm killing this boss kind of a little bit too quick. It is whatever. Better too quick than too slow, right? I'll just sit here and juice up this tower now. This archer's spike. Get back, heroes. I'll supercharge the sniper tower now. So I think one shot is always going for the guy anyways. Oh my god, he's behind the wall. That's fucking perfect. Uh, I think I should supercharge the ballista t sniper tower. Oh my god, he fucking eviscerated all my dudes. Alright, he's coming for me. I'll just get him working on that wall. Chasing me around, you know. Come on, bro. Don't destroy my shit. You little bastard. Oh god, he's really messing me up. Well, on the positive side, we are kind of messing him up now. Bro, what the fuck? God, I thought he was fucking focusing my castle already. I was like, are you serious, brother? Come on, bro. Follow me down. Ugh. Focus me, dude. Okay, so now... I guess I just need to be, like, right next to him at all points in time. Or else he'll just fucking annihilate my base. Kinda effed up. Bro! Chill! Fucking come on, you little bastard. Ooh. Yeah, come over here, buddy. Come fuck up my units and towers and shit, brother. Yeah. No, come on, dude. Fuck off. There we go. There we actually go. 
Yeah, destroy that temple, brother. You know you wanna. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Ooh. We have done it. It's quite gnarly. I think in the... What do you call it? The build where you just empower yourself is way, way, way more effective. But even still, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I got a trophy. Cool. And that's one more quest done on Toad End. I wonder, I probably could have... Power Tower seems like such a god upgrade. The only thing I could think to sub it out would be, uh... The Gladiator School. I could maybe... Instead of Arcane Towers, get, like, Melee Resistance, or the Potions, or something. Maybe Experience Gain would be good, because I could synergize with Temple. Right, you get the units to respawn very quick, and then the last wave, they just become stronger and stronger and stronger. And there's a lot of different, like, build types to go with. Really like the wide breadth upgrades in this game. Well, that'll do it for today's episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Throne Fall. Goodbye!